Praise the Lord Church. My name is Mary Raghuveer and uh, I'm from Hyderabad. And I've been coming to this church for the past three months. I've shifted from there and I live with my brother in uh, Dr. Samuel Solomon from Karigiri. I live with him and his uh, wife in uh, Mayflower campus. Uh, <clears throat> when I was asked if I could share the test my testimony, uh, I didn't know where to start because God has done such wonderful, wonderful things in my life. And if I were to start, I'll have to go back 70 years or maybe at least 50 years back. But uh, let me just share what uh, God has placed in my heart. And um, as I stand bef before you today, what is happening in my life. And I hope that this is going to be a blessing to all of us. <clears throat> Psalm 22 says, 22, 22 says, I will declare your name to my brothers in the congregation. I will praise you. So this is the time of praising God for all he has done in my life. Could we just pause for a moment of prayer, please? Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, for this beautiful time that you have given me, especially to share all that you have done for me. Thank you. And I pray that even as I speak, it is not me, but you will speak in and through me. And that the words of my mouth will be bring honor and glory to you and to you alone. Amen. I was uh, diagnosed with uh, breast cancer in 2004. And when I went through all the battery of tests and I saw the report, uh, for a moment, I didn't know how to react. But then the first thing, I'm still amazed how it came to my mind, but the first thing that came to my mind was, uh, you know, the verse, uh, Philippians 4, 6, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the word that hit me was thanksgiving. How could I thank God for this sudden calamity that he has brought into my life? But then, again, I am amazed because all the thoughts came, that came to me at that moment was only thoughts of praise. Thank you, God, for giving me 50 years of good health at that time. Thank you, God, for saving me from all kinds of disease and ailments which could have happened. And today, um, this report has come and Yes, my body has to go through wear and tear and probably this is it. Thank you, God, that it is an external organ and it is not going to disturb anything inside. And if it's removed, it's okay. It served its purpose. And uh, thank you, God, that, you know, there are prosthetics available. And uh, when I wear a sari, it's going to get covered. And God took care even of the aesthetic and cosmetic aspects of this disease. And uh, today, I have learned that in every crisis, in every situation, it is possible to thank God. And when you, and this is something which I learned, and over the years from then onwards, any situation where I'm troubled, I first try to look for something to thank God for, and then my spirits are lifted up. Anyway, I was uh, advised a total mastectomy, and so, uh, from Hyderabad, I was, uh, uh, I was planned to come to a CMC. And my brother, he arranged for uh, Dr. Arvind Nair to see me to come for consultation and surgery. And uh, also, it was peak season, vacation time, May, first week of May, May 4th. And you know how it is to get train tickets and reservations and things so was very, very difficult. But then, I believe that this train, which is called Venkatadri Express, which comes from Hyderabad to Chittur now, it used to start from Mahbub Nagar, which is another district in those days. I'm talking about 20 years ago, 2004. But just a week before I needed to travel, this train, which was used to run on meter gauge, was shifted to broad gauge, and so it started from Hyderabad. And I believe, and God did it for me. And I believe also 
because when we try to buy the tickets, there are only four births, comfort tickets available for me, my husband, for my two daughters. What a wonderful God. And uh, at the short notice to get an appointment and also to get the train tickets, you know, people said, oh my, you are so lucky and you're so, so wonderful, you know, how things worked out so well with you. But I know it was not luck. I do not believe in luck. It was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in her eyes. And so I came here for surgery. And uh, before that, God had put a, a promise into my heart, 1 Peter 5.10. And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong and steadfast. After you have suffered a little while. So that gave me so much of confidence that my suffering is not going to be for long. It's going to be for a short time. And he's going to restore my strength, go back to my original position of strength and health. And so I came for surgery and the surgery was successful. And after the surgery, I was asked, you know, all exercises, be prepared, you have to go through chemotherapy and radiotherapy. But to me, the words, after a little while, you know, that kept working in my heart. It was constantly in my ears. And I told my doctors, I'm not going to need any chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Because God has promised and he's an unchanging God. He keeps his word. And so... Sure enough, the biopsy results came and then they decided, the, all the doctors together, that I did not need any chemotherapy or radiotherapy. I was just put on tamoxifen for six years. Praise God for that. Thank you for that wonderful grace that God showered on me. And after that, for, I, was, I recovered, I was doing well and getting on with life. Till after 20 years, I had another event which um, occurred last year in November and I was diagnosed with uh, endometrial uterine cancer. And I said, Lord, another trial? But then I remembered all the grace that he had poured out on me during the first instance and I knew that he's going to be with me through this uh, event also. And he's not going to uh, leave me alone. And. Uh, the promise, uh, just a month before that, in uh, October was my birthday, and the promise he had given me was, uh, that the Lord your God will make you more prosperous and will prosper the work of your hands, the fruit of your womb, the fruit and your livestock, your crops in your land. The Lord will again delight in you and make you prosperous just as before. So. I said, if he is going to make me prosperous, if he's going to prosper the work of my hands, he has to give me good health. And so there are not two ways about it. And uh, I said, this is it. And uh, I uh, again had to go through a test, battery of tests, and you know how it is in CMC. You don't, uh, you have to wait for long hours, but then within a day, all the tests that had to be done was accomplished. Praise God for this. And uh, again, was it luck? It wasn't. It was the Lord's doing. He prepared everything in advance so that I could complete all these tests and be ready for the surgery. And uh, surgery was successful. And uh, again, I said, I don't think I'm going to need further treatment. And sure enough, I didn't need any chemotherapy or radiotherapy for this treatment also. Praise God for that. It was truly uh, miraculous. But after that, the recovery was a little slow because, uh, you know, my abdomen uh, uh, still bloat, was bloated and for a long time, for um, almost about a couple of weeks and sort of concern, we met, uh, came back to the <coughs> doctor and they said that, uh, in the exam, and they said, uh, there is fluid in your abdomen. And uh, so I was admitted again. And then they tested the fluid there were no cancer cells in that, it was clear. But it was diagnosed that I have chronic liver disease, stage two. So it was because of that, there was ascites and there was so much of fluid accumulated. So I was under treatment. And after 
to a month or so, uh, all the fluid was drained out, you know, with medication, 16 and a half liters. I was just carrying in my uh, abdomen, so difficult to sit, so difficult to walk, so difficult to lie down, but God was so gracious to me. And then uh, in the process, the silver lining was that I lost 10 kgs of body weight also, which was really good. And uh, could I thank God for this situation? And I realized I could. I thank God for this uterine cancer because had it not, had I not gone through that surgery, this chronic liver you know, condition would not have been uh, come to light because I had no symptoms. And maybe by the time it came, it would have been stage three or four where nothing can be done. But at least now I can maintain at this level. And so I learned that we can thank God in all situations. You know, they, I, many of you may be going through even worse situations, but I know that even as I stand before you today, that I have faced two cancers without any side effects, without any chemotherapy, without any radiotherapy. And I am uh, afflicted with uh, chronic liver disease stage two, but from the past six months, I'm doing good. God has been good. And uh, I'm sure I would have also come up and sung and danced with the Sunday school children. I feel so good. I have to go for a review next uh, week, uh, but I know my God, who has been with me in the past, will be with me and all will be well. And if it isn't well, he will find a solution to it because of his promise that he will make me prosper. And he's a God who keeps his word, who is an unchanging God. And so I stand to testify that our God is a loving, merciful, and very gracious God. He just poured out his grace, unlimited grace. I didn't have to ask him anything. He just kept me safe through all the difficult times. And he blessed me so much that I could come and share this with you all. And he is the God who takes care of all, even the smallest, the nitty gritties, you know, like the train tickets, the appointments, and he even changed the course of the whole train for me. Not because I'm worthy, I'm a sinner saved by grace but because he's a God whose love is so abundant, is from everlasting to everlasting. There is no limit to his love. And I want to thank God for all his mercies, for his grace, and for all the wonderful support he has given me. I have a wonderful family. I thank God for my family, for my extended family, for my church in Hyderabad, for all the friends who have been praying for me all over various countries. And all, above all, all the doctors and nurses and the medical personnel in CMC who took so much of care of me. And it is not by accident, it's not a coincidence. It is God who placed them in my path at the right time so that he could use them to bless me. And uh, I want to thank God for all these opportunities. I thank God for all the difficult times he has given me and for all the blessings that he has given me through the trials. And if there's anybody here who's going through trials, let me assure you that he will never leave you nor forsake you, and he will bless you the more you trust in him, the more you depend on him. And uh, thank you so much for your patient listening. And uh, thank you that there is a God who is above, he's on his throne, and all is right with the world. Yogyata se padhe ke diya hai apni daya se tu ne mujhe mangane se zyada mila mujhe abhari hu prabhu main dhanya
சுமார் கோட்டி கோட்டி சுட்டி கோட்டி கோட்டி சுட்டி தன்யவா தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ